I have the function y equals nl ln of x. Um, it is a natural logarithm, and this is the function for it. It is the inverse of y equals e to the x. Um, the graph in black is the original graph, and the orange graph is the inverse, which is the y equals e of x. The domain of the graph is x is greater than zero. The range is all real numbers. The x-intercept is one, zero. It intercepts right here. The y-intercept is not there. There is none because there's an asymptote. It is increasing. It's not decreasing. Concavity is down. And the y, um, y axis is the asymptote right here. Um, does the graph touch the x axis? Yes. It touches it at 1, 0, right here. Um, the y axis? No, because there's an asymptote. Um, it exists at x is greater than zero, but not for x is less than zero. It exists for y equals greater than zero. It exists for y is less than zero. It exists for y is equal to zero, but not x is equal to zero. For translations, to translate the function, write 3 in horizontally. The original graph is here. Write 3 would move it this way to make it look like this. And when you flip the graph horizontally, you're flipping it over the y-axis. So it would flip over here. So you do 1, 2, 3, 4, and it would flip this way. And the new formula would be y equals ln of x, negative x, minus 3. And you put the negative x in front of the x because you're moving it horizontally. And then the right 3 is a minus. It's the opposite of what you would think it would be. Um, to translate the graph, um, left 2 and vertically, the original graph is in black. And left 2 would be 1, 2, like this. And vertically, you're flipping it over the asymptote, which is right here. So you'd flip it, and it would look like this. Right here. And the new formula would be negative ln of x equals parentheses x plus 2. And the negative goes in front of the ln because it's flipped vertically. And then the plus 2 is opposite of what you would think, because it's moved left 2 and it flips over the asymptote.